position like we tend to. I'd like to contrast the story you told about Julia Gillard with what's happening in, in our home province of Ontario, where the recent Premier, who's actually not been elected but has become the Premier, is a woman and is gay. Mm -hmm. And from my perception, there's been zero of the kind of um, negative and unfair reaction to that that you described in Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me why you think that has happened? Yeah. And generally in Canada, um, it's recorded. Uh, the Chief Justice Supreme Court uh, Canada is a woman, and it seems to be a total non-issue. And yeah. it, seem, it seems as though the uh, these people, I don't know if they're pioneers, but that the as soon as uh, a woman became, got into that position, the issue seems to have melted away, and yeah. nobody's talking about it. Are you asking me to explain why as a Canadian Canada is so great? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, so many reasons. <laughs> Um, but there is this, there's two things I'll say. These are both flippant answers to his very serious question. I don't have a good answer, but I'll give you two. Uh, well, they're not entirely flippant. The thing about Canadian attitudes is you always forget that no Canadian attitude is created in a vacuum. So what Canadians do, I think unconsciously and consciously, is they look over at, to the south and they take their they cues from what America's doing in negatively. That is to say, if America is going to go crazy about gay marriage, Canadians, I think in a kind of hilarious and reverse way, say, oh, we're fine with it. <laughs> if Americans want to go crazy about you know, a woman, blah, blah, Canadians are like, no, we're, it's a way of differentiating themselves. The other interesting thing, of course, uh, Canada, is that it is a country that is um, whose uh, uh, character is uh, created very strongly by patterns of in and out migration. So people who want to be kind of chill, like Canadians are, move to Canada. And if you're not a chill person and you're in Canada, what do you do? Well, you move to America. So if you're a Tea Party person and you live in Canada, you, you leave. You move to Texas. You don't, so, but there's no other, like in America, there's no escape valve for those people, right? They, they just stay where they are and they kind of, you know, bring the government down. But in Canada, we just ship them south. So, you know, it's wonderful, you know, now I realize this is a form of self-criticism because what that would lead you to believe is that the reason I, as a Canadian, live in the United States is that I felt that I was not up to the snuff. Um, I didn't meet the standard for Canadian behavior. That's probably true. But I will say that there's another way of spinning it, which is that so great is my affection for the Canadian way of life that I was willing to leave the country in order to sustain it. And it was, uh, uh, that I would be such a downer to the that, uh, that I should just get out of there and let Canadians be their wonderful open Tom himself. <laughs>